My name is Laura Montgomery. I work for Taylor and Francis Group, and I am a marketer. <laughs> and whether the librarians among you here today realize it or not, you are all marketers too. Whether you're planning and managing your acquisitions, justifying your expenditure, designing your online catalog and websites, providing user support, designing tools to help your users make the most of your products or services, you need to think like marketers. And the first step in thinking like a marketer is to know your customer. That's not to say that the publishers among you here today um, aren't, are off the hook here. Um, as Mark Allen said this morning, there's never been a better time for publishers to refocus on their research needs, uh, on the needs of the researcher. So we're all marketers here today. Welcome to the club. And as the grandfather of modern marketing says, Peter Drucker, the aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well that the product or service fits him and sells itself. All that should be needed then is to make the product or service available. So the study we're going to present to you here today focuses on a specific segment of the library user community, the postgraduate research student. Why the postgraduate research student? Well, as we know, there have been enormous changes in the way scholarly communication works in recent years. And yet the academic journal in most disciplines remains central to the research student's um, journey. Despite this, very few academic studies have been done of information seeking habits of the postgraduate researcher as a literature review in the new review of academic librarianship in 2016 confirmed. From our different perspectives, both Taylor and Francis and Loughborough University needed to fill this gap. There was also anecdotal evidence that support for postgraduate research students was inconsistent. The one-stop information literary session was inadequate. We wanted to know if this was true, and if so, how to overcome it. And to find out, we needed to stop, collaborate, and listen. For these are the first steps in any successful problem-solving exercise. And also, the wise words of Vanilla Ice in 1990 pop hip-hop classic, Ice Ice Baby. So what are we going to cover today? Well, first I'm going to give you an overview of our project. What we wanted to find out, why Loughborough University and Taylor and Francis worked together, who we engaged with, and how we did it. And then I'm going to hand over to Graham, who's going to talk through what we've learned, and in particular, discuss the questions these findings raise for librarians and publishers. So this was a collaborative study developed and run by Taylor and Francis Group in Loughborough University. The collaborative approach worked well for both parties. Taylor and Francis had the resources to collect and analyze data. Loughborough University could provide access to students and mentors to support them. And the communications teams at both Loughborough and Taylor and Francis have been involved in engaging the scholarly community in our research. Both organizations fed into the work with the same end goals in mind, to identify opportunities to enhance the user experience. Our initiative set out to examine the online research habits of postgraduate students. 10 postgrads were recruited to provide diaries of their online research journey on a monthly basis over a period of eight months between November 2015 and June 2016. We wanted to document how they approached online research from the first initial search onwards, we were also interested in how they managed online information throughout the research process. This was never intended to be a broad, definitive international study. We really wanted to drill down into what the postgrad researchers were doing, sketch out their journey, identify their pain points, identify questions which might lead to enhancing the user experience. We would then have the option, if necessary, to broaden the study or road test our conclusions. Above all, this was a pilot project in collaborative working between publisher and librarian, both working on the same side. So what did we want to find out? We wanted to find out the answers to five key questions. Firstly, what steps do postgraduate research students take in reaching their information? Which websites do they visit? How long do they spend at each? What do they find out at each? We wanted to know how they used and managed this information. 
Were they aware of the, the origin of this information that they were accessing? How were they managing this information? How were they returning to the information that they found? Um, what reference managers, if any, were they using? We also wanted to find out a little more about the PGR's relationship with the physical library. How did they use the library? And what relationship did librarians play in their research? At the end of the day, we were very keen to work out how satisfied or frustrated postgraduate research students were with the current research process. From a publisher's perspective, we also wanted to find out how PGRs were using different publishers' platforms. We're not going to touch on that research today. Um, we still need to probe that research a little further. Taking the answers to these five key questions, we hoped that from our different perspectives, we will be able to offer suggestions for improving the products and services we offer postgraduate research students. So how did we go about our research? The first step was for Taylor and Francis and Lafayette to run a joint session on how to get published for postgraduate research students. At the end of that session, participants were recruited um, to take part in an initial survey about their approach to um, reaching and managing information. From these surveys, Taylor and Francis and Loughborough recruited 10 participants from a range of disciplines. We chose these participants based on the quality of their survey responses and their interest in taking part in the study. A small financial incentive was offered to students willing to take part in the full eight month study. Over the course of the eight month study, a monthly diary was completed in SurveyMonkey by postgraduate research students. We wanted to collect qualitative rather than quantitative data to leave the questions open-ended and really get to know what the postgraduate research students user journey was and perhaps throw up unexpected findings. Additional thematic questions were posed each month on topics like use of social media, awareness of open access, um, and what would students do if they were a journal editor for a day. Support was offered throughout the process through regular check-ins with academic mentors who ensured that there were no dropouts during our eight month study. At the end of this period, a focus group was held to further probe the findings. The research and analytics team at Taylor and Francis then collated and analyzed the findings and uh, pulled them together in a report. So why did the postgrads participate? So I'm now going to hand over to Graham, who's going to talk you through our findings and in particular discuss the questions that they raise for publishers and librarians. <laughs> 